We've learned the basic Riemann sum approximations, the left, the right, and the midpoint Riemann sum. We've also learned the trapezoidal approximation and how it's equivalent to the average of the left and right Riemann sum. The question is, how do we make our approximations more accurate? And the real solution is to simply make more rectangles and make them thinner. So let's try this left Riemann sum, but let's switch to a width of just one half and see what we get as our approximation. Okay, that means we're making eight rectangles. One here, one here, and then an additional six here. So what do we get uh, as we try to approximate this? Well, to save a little time, let's work out all the heights first, because we know that each of the widths is one half. Again, I know I've emphasized it many times, but Riemann sums, the re rectangles do not have to be the same width. But in this case, we're going to simplify it so that they are the same width. Height here is zero. The height here is one quarter. One half squared. Well, here we've got one. When you square one, you get one. But I'm going to write that as four fourths, just so that we can always have four as our denominator. Now we're out to three halves. When you square that, you get nine fourths. Now we're at two. When you square two, you get four, but I'm going to call that 16 fourths, just to keep that common denominator. Now we're at five halves. You get 25 fourths. We're at three. You get nine, but let's write it as 36 fourths. And we're at three and a half. That is 7 halves. When you square that, you get 49 fourths. And that's going to be the last height that we need, because if you think about how these leftmost, these left Riemann sums work, we're taking that left height. That'll be our last rectangle. So we've got something like this. Obviously not a perfect drawing, but I hope it gives you the idea. Yeah, that's even shorter, and that's completely flat. Uh, so we're going to multiply each of these heights by the same width of one half. And so these numbers are going to now become eighths. So I've got zero plus an eighth plus um, what is that? An eighth. I got plus eight eighths. Plus, how did I get that wrong? There must be something wrong there. What is this? Three halves. That's nine fourths. Sorry, this last one, I I'm apologize. This should be four eighths. And then I've got nine eighths. And then I have 16 eighths. 25 eighths, 36 eighths, 49 eighths. We're obviously getting to the point where it's probably more useful to start using a calculator. When you add all of this up, you get 17.5 for your new value. Make sure that you get that as well. Now let's try the right Riemann sum. And here, what I want you to do is pause the video do the calculations yourself, see if you get the same answer that I get. And here's the result that we have. We get a sum of 25.5. Again, go back and make sure, if you did not get that value, make sure to find out what you did wrong and fix it. There's no substitute for actually doing these calculations. All right, the last and the least favorite uh, midpoint Riemann sum. Let's take a look at what we're talking about. Again, we're going to do eight rectangles. Go with a width of a half. Okay, But I'm going to do the first couple of these because I just want to make sure you're really thinking clearly about what we're saying. Our first rectangle has a width of a half. 
goes between 0 and 0 0.5, but the height that we take is the height that comes from x equal to a quarter, midway between 0 and 0 0.5. And so the height of this, obviously it's not drawn to scale, but the height of this is 1 16th. Now, next one. We're going between a half and one. I say the height is 1 16th. Obviously, the area is going to be 1 32nd because we're uh, multiplying that 1 16th by a half. But back to this. Now we're at 3 quarters. So the height here is 9 sixteenths. Again, this rectangle would be just a little bit higher. Next, we're making the we're working on the rectangle from one to one and a half, but the height is at one and a quarter, or five fourths, and so that height is going to be twenty-five sixteenths. Okay. Here we're working with uh, a midpoint of, um, what have we got, one and three quarters or seven fourths. We square that, we get 49 sixteenths. And so on. You can go ahead and do that calculation, come up with the sum, and just go ahead and pause this video until you have your result. Okay, and what I get is 21 and a quarter. Go back and double check your work if you get a different number. Um, I guess while we're at it, we may... Uh, ask ourselves how things happen with the trapezoidal approximation. I'm just going to stick that in here. With the trapezoidal approximation, when we had a width equal to 1 for trapezoidal, we got a sum equal to 22. If you switch to a width equal to a half, you're going to get a sum equal to, we just have to add these two numbers together, 25.5 and 17.5. And what is that? That's um, 32, 33, 43 divided by 2 is 21.5. Is that right? Uh, did I add that right? 5.5 5 and 7.5 and 7 is 12, 13, 20, 30. Yep, I get it. So what do we see? Well, we see that, first of all, this gets very tedious. But secondly, that we are, in fact, apparently getting closer and closer to a common number. And that is, in fact, what happens, though we certainly haven't proved it at this point. But here's the message I'd like you to take home. Just walk through these summary points with someone rather than listening to my explanation. I'll just include my explanation here at the end after you've had a chance to pause this video and explain what you've learned. Okay, well, the main point is simply that the thinner and the more the rectangles, the better. Um, it doesn't really matter, in a sense, which approximation you use as you keep making the rectangles thinner and more of them, you get a more and more accurate approximation. And finally, there's simply no substitute to really understand these things than actually grinding through some of these uh, less than enjoyable calculations. Have fun.